hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here a very warm welcome thank you for joining us if you are not new here and you've been here welcome back thanks for coming back um i hope you all got anyway i'm using a new mic today and i really hope it improves the quality of the sound of this video today's video i'm just gonna get right into it because um i just want to show you guys a very quick way um in which you can do your makeup the first thing i'm going to do is i am going to clip back my hair i would usually just do it with out my hair but you know girl trying to be cute on these youtube streets and then first thing that i usually do is i will prime my skin i'm going to be using this revlon rose glow primer so there's something wrong with my dropper so i'm just gonna put some on my hand like that and i'm just gonna prime my skin and i'm gonna go in with some setting spray first just to make sure my foundation lasts the whole day okay cool once i've done that i'm gonna go in with my revlon color stay foundation and i am using the shade hickory i think yeah i'm using the shade hickory but i'm gonna be mixing it with the Revlon full cover foundation just because sometimes it gives me a bit of an orange type vibe which I don't really like so I'm just gonna be mixing it on this random lid here I'm going to mix the two like so then I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender I'm gonna put some setting spray directly onto my beauty blender just to make it easier for me to work with it and i am going to just blend this foundation into my skin Once I've done that and I'm happy with um, how blended my foundation is, I'm just going to highlight my face and I'm going to be using this Revlon um, Colorstay Life Proof um, Foundation Stick and it's in the shade Toast. going to go in with the same beauty blender and I'm just going to help blend that away. Once I've done that, I'm going to make sure that my um, highlights is set and I'm going to be using this Sasha Buttercup setting powder, which is my favorite setting powder of all time. If you have watched some of my videos, you will know that this is the only setting powder I use and I'm going to be using it with the same beauty blender. I'm going to use the butt of it because the rest of it is chewed up and literally looks like the get. I'm going to look up into the ceiling and I'm just going to place this powder like so.
gonna place some of my brows just to make it easier when I start drawing in my eyebrows and remove any excess oil and shine. Once I've done that, I'm just gonna go in with this Scarlet Hill contour and glow palette and I'm gonna very loosely contour my face just in circular motions. I've done that and I'm happy with that I'm gonna go in with some bronzer just to bring back the warmth and the nice glow on my skin and I'm gonna be using this NYX California beaming bronzer same contour brush and I'm just gonna push it slightly into my cheeks now gonna get ready to start doing my eye makeup I'm gonna start with my brows first I'm gonna go for, go in first with this 24 hour brow setter from benefit um, as a brow gel so I'm just gonna lightly brush up my eyebrows like this this really helps keep my brows in place the whole day and I'm gonna be going in with this um, MAC Eyebrow Styler um, in the shade Stud. I'm going to go in with the spoolie at the back just to make sure that my brow is well blended and looks well put together. I've done that. I'm going to be going in with a concealer brush and I'm just going to focus on making my brows look nice and concealed, clean. We'll be going in with this um, MAC palette. It looks like the ghetto please don't don't ask too many questions about it it is been through <laughs> a lot so i'm going to be using this mac 2 and 2 brush that i oh my god that was my highlighter guys i see me so anyway i'm going to be using this mac 2 on 2 2 brush that i always use to conceal my brows Gonna move straight onto the next brow. If 
you want an in-depth brow routine i have a million of those on my channel so you can just watch that okay once i have done that i'm just gonna go in with this contour brush and i'm gonna loosely contour my eyelid because i'm not going to be wearing any eyeshadow notice that i'm not picking up any new products i'm just using the product that's already on the brush okay cool so once i've done that i'm going to be going in with some liquid eyeliner and i'm going to be using this l'oreal um liquid eyeliner it was limited edition so i don't think it's still available but it's not the hardest product to find so i'm going to draw in a thin line just to create a nice base for my lashes Done that I am gonna go straight into prepping my lashes here are my lashes I'm just gonna add some glue on them While I wait for my lashes to dry, I'm just going to go in and highlight my face using this MAC highlighter that literally fell out the pan. Um, mascara and i'm literally loving this essence lash princess mascara it's the best mascara currently that i'm using currently <laughs> i literally love it there is a waterproof one if you are worried about smudging because i know that people have those concerns so but there is a waterproof version of it and i'm just gonna put a little bit of mascara on my top lashes just so it allows them to blend seamlessly with my falsies and i'm gonna do a lot on my lower lashes notice that i'm using the tip of the wand against any smudging and really helps you get that long dramatic lash lower lash effect if you don't have lower lashes don't don't try this at home <laughs> If you don't really have lower lashes, I wouldn't advise that you try this because you're just going to ruin and smudge your makeup. Once I've done that, I'm just going to pick up my lashes and literally just stick them on my eye. Literally the easiest thing in the world. They will dry clear. Um, the glue just wasn't dry enough yet, so this will get a lot clearer and look a lot more blended. While I wait for that to dry and look a bit blended, I'm gonna do my lippy. I'm gonna remove this gloss, and I'm gonna go in with the next um, liquid lip suede lip pencil, and it's in the shade Old Brew. So I always line my lips with a brown lip liner. I'm 
I'm gonna be going in with this Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lippy and it is, it's in the shade Spice. Done that, I'm just gonna finish off the look with this Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And then I'm gonna go in with some black eyeliner. I usually apply this after I apply setting spray because I know that the water does make it run and it just doesn't look nice. So I just, this is my last step. Okay, cool. And that is literally how I do my makeup in 15 minutes. <laughs> Just gonna bring. This is my everyday makeup routine. Makeup every day, but this is how I would usually do my makeup if I was meeting up with a friend quickly or going to a quick meeting or yeah. And if you do like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.